All right, we are live at the Pace Studios. We're here with Peter Mulvey. How's it Hi. going, Peter? It's going good. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much for being here and playing for us today. Uh, so you've got a few songs for us. I do, yes. Will you tell us about the first one? Sure. Um, this is called DIA, which is short for Denver International Airport. I wrote this song one morning. I was staying with my pal Gregory up in Gun Barrel, Colorado, and woke up in uh, one of his outbuildings next to the sheep pen. And all I had in the room was his stuff, which was a coffee grinder and a manual typewriter and a banjo. And the song came bounding up like a great big stupid labradoodle. I'm rolling down to D.I.A. I hated to leave Greg's welcome table Half a dozen bright souls to start in their day Greg fixed us eggs We all drank coffee And talked about all sorts of different stuff I did some dishes So I could linger But there's never time enough Thank you kindly for telling me to take Pena Boulevard Oh, but my heart, it lingers back there In the house with the typewriters and the chickens in the yard When you write a poem on a typewriter It is kind of hard not to use parentheses Get off my ass Tailgating, mister, broke my spell with your SUV. Hold me, touch me, hold me, touch me, feed me. That's what my phone always says it needs me. But I don't need you. to D.I.A. But there's no sickness, toil, or danger in that bright world to which I go. I am going home to see my mother. I am going home no more to roam. I'm only going over Jordan, only going over home. I'm only going Going over Jordan, only going over, only going over home. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. That was great. Thank you. Well, you have uh, a very special anniversary that I see. Uh, it looks like it's the 25th anniversary of... I guess when you began playing. Oh God! Well, it's it's certainly the yeah. I guess it's about the twenty fifth anniversary yeah. of my going out and hitting the road. Right. I began playing. I regret to inform you forty years ago, which was in fairness several years before I was born. Subjective. So, you know. it's, a, it's a subjective anniversary. <laughs> um, and you've also got a new album. Your seventeenth. Yes. Coming my, out. Yep. Actually, no. It's out today. Happy. It's out. Today. Happy happy album release right. Thank day. you very much. Yeah, it, it is. And it's record number 17. You can saw me in half and count the rings. <laughs> Hopefully it won't come <laughs> like, to that. Uh, please don't. Um, <laughs> but, you, you know. but it's called Are You Listening? And um, I'd love to know how you arrived at that title. 
Wow. Um, it's, that's the, one of the songs on the record. And, uh, you know, I wrote the songs probably over uh, 2013, 14. You know, we made the record er, in January of 2016, we made the record. So we could not have known really what was going to happen across that year. And I feel like Are You Listening is a pretty relevant question to, to be asking these days. Agree? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, he, here we are live on Facebook, and uh, boy, howdy, those comment threads, you know? <laughs> Maybe the irony is that no one's listening. Well, yeah, that's the yeah. full-on thing. Every yeah. once in a while, have you, George Saunders? The, oh, yeah. Um, you know, fun fact, yeah. I used to write up his travel itineraries. No fooling. No fooling. He so, listens. Really? He listens. Yeah. Just go, go, to, go watch him. Like every time someone says even the most incendiary thing to him, you can see that he just sort of absorbs it and then asks, how can I help this person no matter what? Yeah. Yeah, wow. he's a good one. Wow. I'll tell you. I'll, we'll, 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 di- we'll talk about yeah, that we'll later. Yeah, we'll talk. We'll talk. We'll <laughs> talk. <laughs> um, well, you've got another one for us. Will you tell us about it? Sure. Uh, uh, this is called The Other Morning Over Coffee. And it's about one of the uh, one of the less uh, talked about aspects of being a primate is uh, that we all tend to have and be friends. And so this is just really one half of an overheard conversation. The other morning over coffee. Hi out there, all of you. Imagine we're having coffee. The other morning of a coffee you told me that lately you've been looking in the mirror And smiling back at a fellow soldier who is fighting the good fight Against the big sad empty inside And that that may not be happiness But it's as close as someone like you gets I believe you Because I've listened to all your bullshit theories about how you're gonna get it together Every one of them involves some future turning point where you turned into a completely different person. But the other morning over coffee, all that you were talking about was dealing with the person you're probably always going to be. Isn't that something? I say, Remember that time we were both drunk off our ass And we were talking about how we had lived lives So full of poetry and adventure That if we died right then and there It would have been fine And it would have been fine Only we didn't die And we woke up so hungover It felt like little furry creatures Had crawled into our mouths and then died I do Oh, and then there was your grand idea About how all of her imperfections were perfect For you because they shoved you off your spot and they forced you to grow and to change as a human being. And the next night, you said, I cannot live for one more minute under the roof with this crazy, self-destructive, chaotic killjoy. Well, damn, there it is, right? And, uh... You've always taken pains to say thank you for listening to these sad sack stories and at this point in our friendship, I believe that I can honestly say you're welcome. I'm a pretty good listener. I get it from my mother. But there is one thing that has always bothered me about this friendship. There is one thing that I believe that I owe it to you to say. like you I'm just like you I'm only swimming upstream I'm 
I'm only swimming upstream I'm only swimming upstream I'm just like you for the life of me We're both just swimming upstream And maybe that's all there is This is swimming upstream I am only swimming upstream Just like you For the life of me For the life of me For the life of me Thank you. Thank you. That was really good. That was a very visual song. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. I, I try. I'm working on that yeah. exact. Thank you for noticing. I'm. That's a. I could like I'm working it. on images yeah. a lot lately. Visual. It's working. Ah, good. Uh, well, you've got one more for us. But before we get to that, um, you worked with Ani DeFranco on this album. I did, yeah. Yeah, she produced it. She produced it, and and uh, we made it down in her home in New Orleans. Wow! And it was her band, uh, Todd and yeah. Terrence, and then my pal Anna Tibble sing, uh, playing violin and yeah. and singing. See, I need to. <laughs> and you, you, but you met her. But you've known her for a while. Yeah, I guess we would have met when we were both, you know, in our 20s starting out. But she got like wicked, you know, she got super famous and sort of, uh, that's a weird, like I tend to give people distance once they're in that tin can of that tunnel for a while, you know. And so like we never, and then uh, I think we, we solidified our friendship, I guess. Up in Alaska, I opened a show for her, and we kind of just sat and talked, and then she brought me on a bunch of other tours. And then uh, we were together in Pauling, New York, uh, when the murders in Charleston happened, and we kind of, that was where the, I wrote this tune called Take Down Your Flag, which kind of became a thing, and then she really shepherded it out into the world. Like, she just used her own bandwidth for my song because because it was of what the song could do and i think that's that's where we really kind of hit it off because i think we look at it all the same way like what is an audience for if not to try to make something a little better you know? yeah uh well you've got one more for us i do will you tell us about it yeah, um, what, what are, I, I don't quite know what I know. I know what I'm going to play. This is a tune called "The Details." I'm a little scattered. I'm doing this, and I guess I'm playing the Rockwood tonight. Oh, yeah. And I'm playing the Rockwood. That's happening. And then I and then I'm what Philly tomorrow in D.C. and the Midwest. And I'm just writing that thing like like it's just coming out. And I feel like kind of. As much as a guy like me feels like an expensive panda where I just get like <laughs> like moved around and plunked down so people can look. That's, that's a really good way to put it. <laughs> well, yeah, and I'm a, I'm a Wisconsinite, so it's yeah. rare that Wisconsinites feel like expensive pandas. But... <laughs> I, may, I may borrow that in the future. <laughs> I hope that's all right. You can you can borrow anything because okay, these things great. they come up apparently I don't know out of my brain necessarily but maybe sort of my pancreas or, and they just <laughs> sort of like come out the <laughs> forehead like Zeus only it's not Athena but uh, right so this is called the details it's got a subtitle which is my neighbor's daughter wanders into this song. You're looking for the devil In the details There's no devil In the details There's just you And me You're looking for the ghost in the machine But there's no ghost in the machine This is you and me on 
the sidewalk, bright yellow coat, brown skin shining in the autumn sun. Gazing up and wonder at the little tree the city planted to replace the big tree that it got sick and it died last year. But follow her gaze up past the little tree, up past the clouds, up past even the sky, and out there in the cold dark behind the clear blue is a satellite. Just that, a satellite. You're looking for love in all the wrong places. There's no love. There are no wrong places. This is you and me. This is you and me. This is you and me. <laughs> Thank you. That was great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right. So before we let you go, um, yeah. we'll just reiterate the uh, line of tour dates that you're going to be right. doing soon. Like you said, tonight you're at Rockwood Music Hall, stage two. Woohoo! And then uh, tomorrow it looks like you're at Philadelphia Folk Song Society. Right. And then after that, on the 26th, you're at Jam and Java, but that's in Vienna. Vienna, Virginia. Virginia, Vienna, Virginia. Oh, Vienna, there's, Virginia. There's yeah. more than one. There's more than one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And what have I got? I'm... And after that, you're going to, you're, it looks like upstate New York, mm-hmm. and then a few dates in Cambridge. Yep. A couple dates in Dayton, Ohio. And uh, one in Louisville, Kentucky, Ann Arbor, Michigan, and you're going to Chicago, and and on through the Midwest, and looks on and like, on. Uh, and a little bit of like Pennsylvania, and kind of rounding the corner again. Yeah, definitely all over the U.S. Yeah, I just got back from Alaska and California and all that, and wow. I will I will also say. <laughs> In Boston, I don't know if it's on the schedule or not, but I'm doing a, about 30 musicians are doing a giant ACLU benefit up there. And so uh-huh. I also want to say on a personal note, just as New Yorkers, thank you for flooding the airports that little while ago. That was one of the more encouraging days in the last 50. So thanks. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> awesome. Uh, well, thank you so much again for being here. We've thank had, you. This has thank been you. Peter Mulvey. And, uh, and please come visit us anytime. I, I will. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it.